Seven budget alternatives for less than thousand rupees in case if you want to smell good and spend less just check these out. So today we have yet another gem of a house and hidden gem because uh, I recently discovered it and uh, it is based in Pune. I was in Pune for a long long time and uh, sadly I wasn't aware about it but then uh, you know last year when I went Pune I discovered this and uh, I had to highlight these fragrances that I love the most from them. Apparently these are their best sellers as well. So we're not going to waste much time and we are going to start now. There are seven fragrances in total. Um, in case you feel that the video is getting a little bit lengthy, just make sure that you watch it in 2x or just fast forward it to the specific scent profile you love. But then most preferable will be just watch the video full. Alright, so the very first perfume that we're going to talk about is Bond Voyage. Now I'm taking these perfumes randomly, you know, there is no specific order or rank or something. But then I might rank them at the last so in the end i'll be uh, you know ranking these perfumes based on how much i like them how much i love them so first of all the presentation is really good i'm gonna show you the boxes as well one by one um, you know you'll be able to see the boxes on the screen so bond voyage is something that is uh, like um, you know that this gives you a sea vibe so you know you're standing uh, on a seashore not the beach thing the beach perfume is uh, a different one but then this gives you a sea vibe because it has this specific sea salt note to it and uh, if you uh, have sniffed perfumes like Melissim Imperial by Creed you are going to love this one now, I'm not saying this is a clone or something all the perfumes are uh, pretty much private blends but then still this is the kind of perfume Bon Voyage and I think this is their best seller as well because uh, you know the owner of uh, this perfume house told me that uh, I think Bon Voyage, yeah, bon Voyage is one of the best seller as well. So this is like uh, a sophistication in a bottle, sophisticated perfume, a kind of perfume you can wear anytime, anywhere, in any season. I feel this is best for the office. So Bon Voyage for you guys. The second one that I have is Soul. Let's take a look at this. The bottle somewhere somehow reminds me of Gucci Gildi bottle, you know, the same, the Gucci Oud bottle, sorry. So, that is that is how that uh, uh, entire presentation is. And now, scent profile here, I'll say this is like a safe, spicy Oud kind of fragrance. Now, I'm not going to tell you the prominent notes in this perfume, mind me, because I want you to understand that, uh, you know, these perfumes are way above the notes that are inside the perfume i'm just trying to explain you how this specific scent profile how the specific scent profile of all the perfumes will be so the scent profile wise i feel this is a sweet spicy a tropical kind of perfume so this first of all just take a look at the bottle and uh, you know same scent profile you're gonna get inside so this is like uh, an evening scent or dark scent profile so something you can wear uh, in the evening or night maybe at the parties events I feel this is a date night or something you wear at the party kind of scent profile now how okay I feel this has uh, some specific rose note as well uh, not uh, a lush green note it's like a spicy rose note the sole is good and uh, this is something like this is something you can wear at the office in my opinion this is something you can, you can wear at the parties or date nights third one is going to be this one this is called expose and uh, this is one of my favorite again now i okay now i like this one because this has a very nice fruity ambiance to it so probably this has lychee to um, as a prominent scent profile uh, the lychee note and uh, apart from that i feel like you know it has this uh, lush raspberry note it has this sweet vibes to it but then it is not a uh, women centric perfume not for women this is pretty much unisex perfume so it's a kind of scent profile that you wear when you want to feel uh, when, when you're feeling a little bit funky when you're just sitting by yourself maybe going at the office as well again say for office say for anywhere you go so something you can wear anytime anywhere and I'm pretty sure everyone is going to appreciate it. It is not something that people are going to find subjective. I mean, let's say this one 
I'll, I'll keep it here. So let's say this one is a little bit subjective considering the send profile, but not uh, animalic or something. But then this is again is something that is a pleasant send profile. The next one that I have is enticer. Just take a look at this bottle again, a blue looking bottle and you know, the scent profile, I mean, wherever you get this blue bottle, the scent profile is always like a, a happy scent profile, a kind of scent profile that everyone prefers and loves. Not like something, okay. So, the best thing that I can explain about this uh, specific scent profile is that this is aquatic, this is a bit fresh, clean, and it has this bubblegum note to it. It has this bubblegum vibe to it. Uh, I'm not sure if bubblegum is in this perfume's official note, but then I do get it. I get this, uh, uh, you know, cucumber note. So if you know uh, any perfume that has cucumber note in it, you'll be able to relate uh, with this perfume. So yeah, I mean, uh, you know, some kind of uh, citrusy scent profile like maybe lemon or orange or mandarin, something like that. And uh, apart from that, this is good. Now, this is something, I mean, see, I'll, I'll show you this perfume this perfume is also fresh clean and a little bit aquatic this perfume is also fresh clean and a little bit aquatic but then this is more on a spicier side and uh, this is this is something that uh, you know not specifically for any occasion or any event again for the office wear so it's a kind of scent profile you can wear at the office prefer at the office and just in itself the price of these perfumes is less than thousand rupees so I think even if you get two perfumes, one for day, one for night, um, I'm pretty sure everything will be set. So yeah, this is enticer for you. I feel best perfume for the office. Now hang on, because we have one more blue perfume and the name of this perfume is Blue Passion. <laughs> Just in itself. So I almost forgot to show you the sprayer. All the sprayers are similar. So let me show you the sprayer. Yeah. You know, it gives this nice spray. So, Blue Passion gives me David of Cool Water vibe. Now, I'm not saying again that it is similar to Cool Water. No. But then it does give me this David of Cool Water vibe with added lavender and tobacco note. So, consider David of Cool Water with uh, more lavender, more tobacco note. Maybe, uh, probably the vintage batches of uh, Cool Water where it used to be more potent and more... Uh, uh, I'll say masculine right now it is not that much masculine but then yeah it is now imagine David of cool water DNA with tobacco note and uh, lavender note this is what uh, this perfume is all about blue again the scent profile that is best suited for everywhere totally inoffensive like not a single soul will be offended by this kind of scent profile I'm pretty sure that everyone is going to be um, you know feeling happy all over wherever you just pass after wearing this perfume so it's a good one safe to wear you can wear it anytime anywhere good one the next one is azure and just take a look at the bottle and the last two bottles i i love the uh, the color of these two bottles you know this is dark gray this is light gray so azure is something that i find uh you know just totally uh contradicting with the color of the bottle because the color of the bottle here is mysterious dark the scent profile here is, I'll say, uh, a gentleman kind of scent profile. So, not entirely contradictory, but then, uh, yeah. I mean, it does give this safe guy kind of vibe. So, a guy wearing this perfume is like uh, probably a businessman or, you know, going at the office, some CEO or something like that. So, that is the vibe that this perfume gives. And at the same time, the bottle here gives this mysterious bad boy kind of vibe. So, in that way. It is a bit contradictory, but then nonetheless, the perfume is good. It has this, uh, you know, spicy note. Now, in the entire, uh, you know, batch, in the entire perfumes that I have, there's this spicy backbone to every perfume. Maybe it is like a signature note thing going on with the entire brand. So, you'll get this spicy nuance in all the perfumes that you try. Even if you try two perfumes, you'll be able to figure out what I'm trying to say. That is a good one, because even in brands like Ajmal, I noticed this thing even in brands like Jovoy, I noticed this thing. So they have this signature note thing that uh, is pretty much identifiable in all the perfume. In that way, it is good. So Zior is something that you can wear at the office, maybe at the parties, meetings, but it is not a playful scent profile. This is like a serious kind of scent profile, just like the bottle is. 
and the last one is royal sport which is this one again i love the presentation of this bottle now royal sport although it says that it is a sporty perfume but then i feel this is again the kind of scent profile that is best for the office so maybe something that you can wear in the office when you are just going out with friends maybe you're going at the party or date night or events you know romantic events maybe yes maybe no but then i prefer this one for a uh, date night uh, so you know some casual events with your partner so this is good for a uh, uh, normal encounter with people maybe at the office as well so yeah overall it is good again it has spicy nuance the same spicy nuance that the entire brand has apart from that i get this earthy vibes from this perfume so the vibe is in uh, you know i feel vetiver i feel you know cedar wood some woody notes and all that and uh, which is good this has the sweet note to it and it is probably coming from amber or musky notes maybe or both of them so that is how this perfume is you know all about although it says royal sport but then i'll say this is best suited for uh, everywhere apart from date night if you want to make it as a signature scent wear it at the date night but then uh, yeah for date night prefer some other perfume so all these perfumes are just under 1000 rupees if the price is right or if the discount is good you may get them for even less than 900 rupees i'll mention the link in the description so that you can directly purchase from them for the brand's website as well as instagram page so check them out i feel these are the kind of perfumes that are best for the you know guys or girls going in the colleges because i remember wearing fog perfumes and all that when i was in college i had no other option apart from that but then you people now have option where you can smell way good and spend way less so just an it's up in my humble opinion i'll rank them i mean i i don't i'm not saying that uh, you know the perfumes are bad or good but then this is just my personal opinion this is what i feel personally so the number one i'll give uh, to bon voyage this because this is a kind of scent profile i resonate very nicely number two i'll give okay this one number 2 i'll give to blue pageant because again something that i prefer the most number 3 i'll give to expose which is this one fourth one for me will be soul fifth one will be enticer for me sixth one will be this one royal sport and the seventh one seventh one um, will be azio for me now this is considering what scent profile i prefer and love it may be different for you so it just an it's up so give it a try uh, they also have a store at pune if you are interested i'll mention the store address as well inside because i tested them at the store so this is how i came to know so in case you are from pune just make sure you check them out we'll see you in the next one guys